Oh, y'all got to work perfectly. Toothpaste and water stain is amazing. But it starts with a toilet. Stop so the check that this is actually clean. There's something on your to-do list. Get it off the list. Stop procrastinating. We pray that it will go well. Yeah, this is a whole situation. It is a whole situation. But first things first, hey beautiful people, but welcome back to this Girls Insights, where you can find vlogs and sit down conversations about faith and lifestyle. In each of my videos, I share my insights, my journey, my life with you. And today, yo, what I was going to say, you've probably seen the title. As you can see, I am in the bathroom today and I am back with a clean with me video. Um, now, full disclosure, I'm just going to let y'all know, it is currently past midnight. Now, why am I cleaning my bathroom in the middle of the night? Because I have been meaning to do this for so long. And I don't know why, because I actually like cleaning the bathroom, oddly enough. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> but I kept, I just keep putting it off. I keep putting it off. I'll do it in the morning. I'll do it in the afternoon. I'll do it after dinner. I'll do it after work. I'll do it, I'll do it whenever. And you know what, yo, I just decided I'm just going to do it. Like, it's happening now. So, yes. I'm about to clean my bathroom in the middle of the night. I am tired. It's been a long day. It's been a long everything. All I want to do is sleep. But what I'm going to do is clean this bathroom. So on that note, I'm not going to be talking too long. I'm not sure how much I'm... Like, obviously, like, when I do a clean with my I usually talk to you guys anyways. But I'm not sure how this is going to go because I'm literally just trying to get this done quickly. I know this is your motivation. If there's something you need to get done and you ain't done it, just, just do it. Like, ideally, don't wait till past midnight. Um, but, you know whatever you like just start just start wherever you are um so yeah on the, i was literally about to say I'm, i was about to, i was literally about to say i'm not going to be doing that much talking and then i started talking y'all pray for me pray for me but yeah um also the other thing is and let me show y'all okay y'all so what you are currently looking at is my shower caddy and y'all this shower caddy has been on the floor for I literally just walk past it. I don't, I, I just walk past it every single day. And I just need to put it together because as you can see, all my shower stuff is literally just like out and about. Um, so yeah, that's also something I need to do today. I would really like to do a thorough clean. Like I want to clean out like all of the inside of the, I don't need to, actually it's not that bad. It's just like, I want to clean out all the inside of the cabinets and stuff. But you at this point, I just want to just do a normal clean. Um, and also do my shower caddy. There was something I was gonna say, I don't even remember now, but I remember I was gonna say it. It will come back to me, but yeah, yo, let's get started. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this motivates you to clean. I hope you, oh, that's what I was gonna say. Um, if you're new to this channel, welcome to this girl's insights. Um, my name is Tom Lola. It is so nice to have you here. Um, please subscribe. You get like loads of lifestyle content on this channel, ranging from cleaning to cooking to, decor to just all of the stuff to me just sitting and chatting because i do talk as you will quickly notice um so yeah please subscribe join the family hopefully you enjoy this um and let's assume you are going to enjoy this and please give this video a thumbs up already um but yeah welcome to the channel subscribe to join the family like to support and remember the comment section is how we become friends so you know leave a comment below now let's do this y'all and as is usual i am going to start with a toilet <gasps> Toilet cleaning. Okay, so we're going to grab a bit of this. Um, yeah, I'm just going to bring all of these out. By the way, so for the toilet, when I say I'm going to start with the toilet, I'm not actually going to clean the toilet now. I'm going to treat it first. So I'm just going to put this in there for a bit while I do everything else. And then I'll come back and end with the toilet. So I like to use the e-cover um, power toilet cleaner. And if you guys have watched any of my other Clean With Me videos, you know, like I use the e-cover like laundry detergent. I use the... E cover dishwasher so basically it's plant-based and mi mineral ingredients um so yeah basically that i will leave the link to everything i use in the description by the way but yeah do you know what i only realized very recently that the reason that all this stuff is on here is because of kids so they can't open it well, i could open cough medicine as a kid so i'm not sure if that's it was so i'm really generous with this um and now the next thing I like to do, still in that same note of, you know, preparing things and leaving things that need to sit in there for a while, is I also like to treat the shower area as well. So similarly, I am going to be using the e-cover lime scale remover. Actually, I'm going to be using two things. I'm going to be using the e-cover lime scale remover. But recently, I've had like bits of, like tiny bits of mold showing up. Um, again, probably because I've been cleaning every week. Or maybe it's because I don't, I've... 
I need like a big window in here. I need to take the extractor fan on for longer. But basically, I recently started using... I saw some other stuff online that I want to try. And I'll let you know how it goes. But for now, I've recently started using this as well. But then I saw this gel. Like it was an advert on Instagram. Um, <laughs> by the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. Um, I try to be on there. But recently, I've done been messy. But let's not discuss that. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to put this on there as well in certain bits. Just to help deal with mold. But the main thing I'm going to be using is the e-cover lime scale remover. Which is pretty great as well. Um, so let's do this. And I literally just spray it everywhere and then I close the shower door. Just everywhere. And you can just leave it on for a few minutes. And I think they say to rinse or you can just rinse, but I like to scrub as well. Like, literally, I can't believe my bath, my shower is this dirty. Like, all of this stuff is not normally on here. Like, I can't believe I've let it get this bad. I keep thinking I need to wear a face mask when I do this. But all of the fumes. Oh. All of the fumes. I literally spray it everywhere. And then I'm gonna go back with this one. And then after this, I'm gonna get started on the dusting while all the cleaning agents work on the toilet and the shower. Now I'm actually started, I'm actually excited. Why do I keep putting this off? I've been doing this recently about loads of random stuff. But you know like when life gets really busy and it's so, like work has been so overwhelming, everything has been so overwhelming, that just doing the simple stuff just feels like such a huge task and i think that's just what's happened with this i try to maintain it so it's not like a disgusting mess but it's just not as like i'm like it's just not as clean as i'd like it like i grew up with the saturday cleaning every saturday you clean the whole house so it's just weird to not have done that at least for the bathroom And as you can see, I have popped on an audio book um, because actually cleaning the blinds is taking a lot longer than I planned. Um, so I think I was trying to show you on there. It's a book called How Not to Die. Such a good listen. Like I will recommend it and I will leave a link in the description box. Anyways, but it, it's just it changes the way you view food and how it impacts your body. Um, but yeah, y'all, like cleaning these blinds, like does anyone have an effective method on how to clean blinds? Um, as you can see, I went in initially with a wet cloth and then now I'm drying it with paper towels. I actually need to rush and I need to sort out the shower because I was just meant to dust the blinds, but because I've not dusted them for so long, they were so messy that they needed actual cleaning. Ugh. The fumes are starting to thingy. Every time I, like, list, okay, not every time, but only since the year that was 2020 and since like wearing masks became a normal thing, when I clean the bathroom, I'm always like, you should be wearing a mask because this, like, it's a lot of fumes and stuff. Even with like the e-cover, which is like minerals based and stuff. Um, but I need to rush up and do that. And this means about 97% of Americans eat fiber oh. deficient diet. Fiber is naturally concentrated in only one place my arms are really hurting from reaching up for that long oh i wanted to quickly tell you guys about the book i'm reading so how not to die by michael gerger it is such a good book y'all i all know by the way like if you've watched any of my videos you should know that i love listening to audiobooks but usually when i'm cleaning when i'm doing diy i usually listen to like fiction but i started this book recently and it is so good i will leave a link to it the audible like i'm listening to it on audible so i will leave a link to it in the description box and if you've never had audible before or i don't know how it works but basically i think i'll try and see if you can get it on a free trial or something so you can listen but it's basically about how like the impact of what you eat on your body because like we know like the bad stuff like what was that documentary when we were kids like the guy that ate mcdonald's for like a year or something so like we know that that has like a negative impact but he just talks about he's just talking about actually what is the positive impact of what are the things that you can eat so like fruits veg or grains and how can that help you so i'm still in the first part of the book but in the first part of the book is i think in the second part is going to talk about how to like practically implement some stuff to help you but right now it's just going through like the diseases that like kill the most people in the US. So it's very US based. But I guess if you're in the UK or just any Western society or even just more like societies across the world that now eat more Western food and more junk food and more like 
stuff with like preservatives and all of that stuff um but basically it just talks about like what am i trying to say it's basically talking about like the top diseases that kill the most people in the u.s and it's just talking about how you can try to avoid them or even mitigate the risk of you getting them that's a good word mitigate the risk of you getting them this is what happens when i listen to non-fiction um, I, th I think i'm at work but yeah you can mitigate the risk of getting them by just be making sure you eat better and not just i think it's going to go all plant-based but in my mind i'm thinking of somewhere in the middle which i have been doing for the last couple of years like over the last few years i have started introducing more and more plant-based into my diet but yo, I need to, let me go clean the shower. I don't know why I'm talking about this right now. Let me play this book and go clean the shower. Okay, so generally by the way y'all so you can give these if you clean these regularly you should be fine so like i normally use like a toothbrush and stuff to get into the nook and crannies but let's say you have not cleaned this for a while because a lot of people don't actually clean this what you can do is you can take a screwdriver and you can actually take it apart but at least i can take mine apart um and it literally should just be one screw so there's a screw right in the middle there i don't know if you can see in there i'm just gonna separate those and then you just clean the bits separately. So I am just gonna use my recycled, my recycled, um, what have I forgotten what it's called now? And I'm just gonna go in. But again, it's not even that, it's not that bad, it's not that messy. Um, it's not the cleanest thing in the world. It probably needs a bit of a deep clean. Ugh, but today I'm just trying to, and I know it sounds weird because I've been in here for long enough, but this is literally just me trying to do a surface clean. Um, and I feel like with the bathroom, I tend to be, well, I like to be thorough with cleaning anyways, but with the bathroom, I tend to go in because I used to, basically, you know, when you're a kid, like everyone's got their chores. Um, so as a family, Saturday was like the day where everyone did their cleaning, like in the morning. So before you went out and did anything else, everyone had something to do and you got your cleaning done. And I was on bathroom duty. And I just got really good at being thorough because for quite a while, as a child, I needed glasses, but no, no one knew. When I say child, I mean like I was probably like 12 or so. Um, but yeah, no one knew. And basically, like I used to fill bathroom inspection. So for anyone who didn't grow up in an African household, or I don't know if this happens in other cultures as well, but basically you get given your chores and you have to clean. But then before you can get released to say, okay, yes, you've done your chores. Yes, you're fine. Um, there would be an inspection. So mom would come and she would go, okay, yes, it is actually clean. You're allowed to, <laughs> you're allowed to go and do whatever you want to do. Um, and I used to consistently fail bathroom inspection. I should be like, can't you see it's still dirty? And I used to be like, it looks clean to me. And then I finally got glasses, yo. And I was like, oh no, this bathroom is dirty. But then yes, off the back of that, I kind of just learned to be really just thorough. So as much as I feel like, oh, you might feel like this is extra. For me, this isn't actually a deep clean. Like I could spend hours in here. I'm not even meant to be doing this because this doesn't actually need, it's not that bad. But it's just because I wanted to show you that you can unscrew it and clean it properly in case you need to. 
and just before I rinse anything, just make sure you don't, you're careful with the screw so you don't send it down and actually wash it away. So keep it outside. Um, I'm just going to rinse this so it's nice and clean. It's not perfect, but you know, I'm actually not bothered. I like the way I say I'm not bothered and then I go back in. But yo, I actually need to stop because I want to sleep. And then similarly, you can do the same thing for the other side. But the other side is actually pretty clean. Um, but you can go in with a toothbrush and just clean and rinse anything. And this tends to get plugged up with like hair and stuff. So especially if you're like, if you have an afro or you're a natural queen like me. Yeah, just double check that this is actually clean. My last flat, y'all. Oh my days. So they said the place was clean, but I went to, and I think if you've seen my, oh, this is years ago now, but I do have a video where I actually, I think it was the empty flat tour of my studio flat, but then the, before the empty flat tour, I was there cleaning. And the thing I found in the shower when I was cleaning this out, oh, was so disgusting. So, so disgusting. But yeah, you just want to screw that back. Um, oh. Give it a bit of a rinse. Oh, and then just pop it back down. Oh, actually, while I'm here, there's something I wanted to try. Recently, I've been getting more and more of like residue on this. So like, instead, so you can see, instead of a straight shine, you can see it's just not like, it looks dirty, it's not a straight shine. Um, so I am gonna try one of my tricks, which I will be showing you later on. So I actually normally use toothpaste for water stains. Toothpaste on water stains on your glass is amazing. You all are about to see. So look at how cloudy this is. And I assure you, soon, all that cloud is going to be gone. But I actually wanted to try toothpaste on here. I've been meaning to try it on here to see if it helps with this. Oh, what do I want to call it? With this lack of shine. Just to just get it nice and clean. And you don't actually have to be too aggressive. So even at this stage, this loofah is a, or used to be a loofah, um, is so soft. Let's see. Oh, there we go. That's what we like to see. And again, it's not like it's dirty, dirty, so it's not the end of the world. Oh, y'all, that's worked perfectly. Okay. I'm glad I remembered to do it. Because I feel like I always forget. And when I'm having a shower, I'm like, oh, I was supposed to do that. And now... In the shower area, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the glass. So I'm literally just going to do it with, so I've sprayed it with like disinfectants and stuff. I'm just going to go with, with toothpaste. So again, I'm just going to use this. Now, again, you can, if you don't have this, like you can use these. Um, you can use whatever, just any, you can use a cloth, anything really. Just anything. I just find this takes the toothpaste well. But again, not all of you might recycle old goofers. And the great thing is you don't have to put in that much elbow grease that the toothpaste does most of the work.
As is usual, let's just take a moment to shout out to Camille, my under sink cabinet. I can't like I can't show her without mentioning her. I have just got to say I love this section so much because obviously look at my face, I'm so tired, I'm serious. And just cleaning the mirror makes me so happy. <laughs> now we go back to where it all started. I am gonna just use some gloves. So I just use disposable like gloves that I can use one time when I'm done with. Um, so sometimes I like to leave the toilet spray in overnight. So if I know, like, so if I'm cleaning on side today, I put it on this on the Friday before I go to bed. And I tend to do quite a bit in here because when I first moved in, the bottom of it was really stained because the water here is so hard. So I used to use a lot of um, vinegar, and I'd leave it in there overnight, and it's a lot better now. But I'm always trying to improve it. And as a quick reminder, the cleaning agent I used in the toilet earlier on was the eCover Power Toilet Cleaner. Then the last level of disinfectant, and because I like the smell, I'm also going to put some Zoflora in there. So you guys have seen me, I think in my first game with me, you saw me use Zoflora on the floors. So in this case, like you don't need to mix it because obviously for the floors and stuff like that, you need to dilute it. But for the toilet, you can literally just take one cap full and just... Pour it in. Just leave it in there for about five minutes or so. This time around, it's a different of flower I'm using. This is the linen fresh one, which kind of fits in with the vibe of the bathroom a bit more. Linen fresh. Um, I don't want a very pretty smell in here. I want a clean smell, if that makes sense. Now I'm going to go back in again with the bits around the toilet with the e-cover spray <sighs> using up the andrex so the reason i use disposable gloves and like the, like tissue as opposed to cloth is because i don't want to keep the stuff keep and reuse the stuff that goes that i use for the toilet if that makes sense what I really wanted to do was I wanted to go into the tiles and properly scrub them um, and I wanted to try like a baking soda vinegar mixture you know I like to try that on everything um, so yeah the way the tightness is real and the important thing is I just want to get this shower caddy installed so it's just a quick mop for now and then I'm reading the instructions on how to install the shower caddy it's slightly so this is what it's gonna look like so I can basically stack my things on the shower I just got it off Amazon. I bought it a while back though. I've literally had this for ages. I mean, I just didn't put it together. So I'm not sure if it's still in stock, but I'll leave a link to it or something similar in the description box. Um, if you remember y'all, my last one, the one, oh, you had, if you've been with me for a long time, you remember I had one in my last studio flat. Um, and I think I showed it to you. I don't think I showed you the full installation, but I showed you part of it. It's kind of hard to record. And do this it's a two-person job um, so it's always fun trying to do it by myself um or at least I've only done it by myself once and I don't know I'm gonna do it again but it should be fine um, I feel like <laughs> okay this is the clean with me vlog but anyone 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 that has seen any of my DIY videos um you know I tend to tackle these multiple person jobs by myself anyways so we pray that it will go well or oh, first of all I need to measure how long it is because then that impacts the pieces I will use um, but as is usual the floors are dry so I have laid out let me show you oh, I have laid out all the pieces on the floor and they all have like letters on them so I know what's what So basically this like this set is adjustable the height depending on how tall you need it to be that depends on how many poles you use oh i need to be careful with this i snapped it now y'all i can't oh this one i don't know if you can see 
Slightly broken on the edge there. Pretty tiny, but that corner just there. The first um, step one is to take B and connect it to all the plastic bits together using I, which were the rubber rings, I believe. So I need this upwards, leave this bit upwards, and the flat bit downwards. And then I'm just going to take these four rubber rings. First of all, this. And by this, I mean you just put the tray onto the pole named B. Followed by a rubber ring. And I think the rubber ring basically seals the holes between the tray and the pole. Um, so you just want to do that for all four of the trays. And then depending on the height that you need the shower caddy to be, you're, you're either going to start installing the top and base of the caddy or you can actually extend the height. So I'm going to be extending the height and depending on the height you need, you can use a different combination of the poles provided to get the right height. So there is guidance in the instructions, but I am going to be doing um, A, B, C, D. Um, so that's what I'm showing you on the screen now, if that makes sense. And now that I've got the height that I want, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take J, which is the rubber base, and I'm just going to attach that to the end. And then following that, I'm going to find A, and I'm attaching that to the top. And then this extends for me to get the length that I need. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the plastic borders to the tray. So you should have three normal borders and then one border with a hanging feature, which will go onto the bottom tray. And you literally just slot them in. Just click them into place. This is super easy and super quick. I can't believe it's taken me so long to do this. Um, you can literally set this up in 10 to 15 minutes. And it looks like it's going to be easier to insert than my hold one because it's not spring based. This one though, so for the last one, if you can see, instead of the top, it's going to go in the bottom one. And then the hooks are facing outwards so I can hang stuff on it. And now it's time to place it in the shower and all you literally need to do is to twist the top to tighten it into place. Um, you might need to loosen it if it's a bit too tall, but you literally just tighten and loosen the top bit, so the extendable bit I showed you earlier on, till it's in place. And then after I've done that, I'm also just making sure that the trays are in place and I'm testing that it's firmly in place um, so it doesn't fall. My new shower caddy is done and ready to use. And it's kind of hard to get a proper angle in this bathroom um, but this is what the clean bathroom is looking like and it just makes me so happy to have a clean space so i hope this has motivated you guys I'm a bit of cleaner motivation for you i don't know how it's hours later but i am finally done i love the fact that this is finally in place because just having stuff all over the place was annoying me um but yeah like so much for a quick surface, like in my mind, I was just going to do a quick spray and wipe down. But that's the thing, something about me and my, about the bathroom, when I get started, I want to go into all the corners. Like, I still want to do the floors, I'm not going to do them tonight or this morning, but I still want to do the floors. Um, and I want to do like the grout on the tiles, so I mopped it, but I want to do like the grout on the tiles. I want to go in on the grout on the tiles in the bathroom as well. But let me know, like, if you guys like, is there anything that really works well for mold? And I, oh, I saw something else that someone was referencing, I think it was from Mum's Net. But yeah, is there anything that really works well with mold? Because, like, my, I don't have, I don't, like, okay, you can barely see it. Like, you can barely see mold. But those tiny spots, I kind of want to nip it in the bud. Um, but yeah, yo, I love a clean bathroom and it smells so good in here. Literally, a cap full of the flora in the toilet. Once a week, like it's a disinfectant, first of all, and it smells amazing. It just smells fresh in here. Oh, okay. Yeah. I am now going to go 
Actually, I'm off. I was meant to shop for something on Amazon, but you know, I don't have energy. I'm going to go to bed. But y'all, I hope you have enjoyed this. I hope this has motivated you to do some cleaning. Um, I think I kind of stopped talking to you halfway through, but I'm sure I did voiceovers and all of that stuff. And I'll edit the video and we'll see how it turns out. Either way, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I will be doing more Clean With Me videos with, alongside all the other content um, and I would appreciate your support. Please also share my channel and my videos with other people you think would enjoy it. Give the video a thumbs up and comment below. Press the bell. All of the stuff that you guys know to do, um, please help me do that. I'm so happy right now. Don't you just love a clean flat? And like the good news is the rest of the flat's clean. And, but so it's kind of like all clean. But yeah, yo. Oh. Oh, and I've also got pl I've got plans tomorrow slash today slash whatever it's for. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. I hope it's motivated you to just do whatever bit of cleaning or just anything, even if it's not cleaning. If there's something on your to-do list, get it off the list. Stop procrastinating. That's a motorcycle. Why is it a motorcycle? That doesn't matter. Um. Anyways, y'all. Yeah. Um. Thank you so much for watching and for all of your support. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm just gonna say, God bless you. Jesus loves you. May the spirit of God be with you. Bye, guys. About to get the cleaning, 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 cleaning done. Currently, the new plan is go for seconds, have a hot chocolate, and then take a nap. And then we clean. Y'all better be ready. Got bags of kitchen stuff over there. The transformation has happened.